Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you an error coin. It's the 2019 IRB 50 cent piece, 1.05 million they made of them, very low mintage. And a subscriber, only known to me as Brie, pointed out that she had a couple of these coins with uh, what I've now determined on there to be die fill error. And I checked my coins and I found I had three of them. So three error coins, all the nearly the same. So die fill error on the kangaroo's ear. All around that ear is all missing. But I also have a couple of small structure errors on mine as well. With a couple of chips. But uh, the design down here is all thin, very thin compared to the, the standard coin, which I have one also to compare with and um, that's all die fill you know somebody's cleaned it out obviously I dare say never wiped it out properly and it's just made the design very thin but up here on the kangaroos here it's missing it just looks like a bent over finger and also some of the reading is missing and I have a couple of structures on the star there too so I'll show you that up close but thanks to Brie uh, I missed them uh, on mine, but I had three of them. So your 2019 IRB effigy 50 cent piece, check them for die fill error on the kangaroo ear. On the reading to the kangaroo, the kangaroo reading at the back here, it's all thin. And look for structural little bits around the tip of the uh, point that's going at nine o'clock and just above there too in the field so we'll have a look at these but again thanks to the brink i missed it completely so another error for people to look for there okay this is the uh, error coin up close so if you look at the kangaroo ear if you look at that kangaroo ear there it's just the finger basically pointing sort of bent over pointing it should have an inner edge of that also the reading that's going off there just here is missing it's all really uh, hardly minted there compared to the standard and that spike coming off there that should be more it should be going down to the ear the second ear inside there everything's thin uh, when I start going down the flora down here I can see that it's all very thin compared to the uh, normal properly minted coin so it's got a lot of die fill and on this one on the star point the one at nine o'clock you can see there that's a couple of structures on there so material on the anvil die and um, it's pressed into it and there's another spot that's down lower too that's got some structure just there those three there they're not clash or nothing like that there's a total difference between clash these are nice even craters there's no in slide jab no nothing so a couple of bits hanging around on the die and more than likely they cleaned it out what was left over, the grease, whatever, how were all the little bits and there you go, they got struck into it. And the design is very thin. So I'll show you the other one. And it's that ear and the reading all there that we're looking at. So I'll show you this one. Actually if I put my hand over there and create a shadow you can see it's just the finger straight up. There's no defining marks on there. I'll do the same with the other one. And you'll see it's missing. It's all dye fill. If it was dye wear, everything would get bigger. And as it wears down and the edges get bigger, the metal, the area it had to go into gets less. So the metal actually starts coming out onto the fields. And everything starts evening up. That's dye wear. Dye fill. It'll be missing, thin design, you know, 
there you go and this is the correctly minted coin and you can see straight away if, I'll try and put the two together so we can compare them but you can see straight away the ear it's got the hole ear and it actually comes down into a V where it meets that reed and come across well that's all missing on the other one and there's no structures on the the star there and this reading coming off there that point you can see all that the other one it's missing and you can just see how rounder and taller and the design of that is more 3d-ish than the other coin because uh, the other coin was filled but this one is probably minted lovely um, so I'll try and put them both together and we'll have a look and I said I was going to cover this so you can see that that shape from the ear goes down into a V and meets with the reading there's a V shape in there uh, we'll put them together well we'll see how we go with this of course because the coin underneath is further away so you know with this camera it's a SLR I've got to do it manually so the top one that's in focus you'll see that finger here the actual design behind the kangaroo you can see it's all pretty much down it's not very well defined you can see it's bits missing it you can just see it now if I go to the other one You can see how round it is there. You can see the V that goes down into that uh, ear there and the reading. And if we go back up, you can see it's missing on this one. It's not there. And that reading that's just behind there that, try and move it across a bit. So just at the top of the nostril, of the kangaroo just at the top of the nostril of the kangaroo there should be a nice bit of reed in there on the other one you'll see it and you can see it very nicely that it's just above his nostril there and it's very clear and that v-shape in there is very clear the inner ear at the back there it's all more roundish, better defined than that. You can see it's all missing. Missing. There. Missing. Yeah. There you go. Look out for them. 2019 IRB Ian Rank Broadly fifth effigy design. 1.05 million on these coins. They're low min and these could be pretty scarce. Thanks to Bree, whoever you are is my subscriber. Thank you very much and everybody out there will be thanking you too because this is another error to be looking for and a very recent error. So lovely. Okay, thanks for watching and until next time, subscribe, like, share, bye bye.